How do you feel about decluttering your home? When I worked one-on-one -on -one with other mums organising their homes, the same feelings seemed to pop up with every client. They felt frustrated or guilty about the clutter in their homes, but the thought of going through it was really overwhelming. Even though putting it off felt bad, trying to do it felt bad too. Hi, I'm Marissa from beautifullyorganized.com. I find these four statements help a lot in terms of motivating me to declutter a space in my home, and I hope you find them helpful too. Clutter is nothing more than postponed decisions. Barbara Hempel. This is so true. I know what it feels like to look at a space that needs decluttering and put it off because making the decision on whether to keep, donate, or throw away some of the items pulls up my heart a little. But once I decide, it's done and I always feel so much better. A home with less in it is easier to maintain. It's so much easier to tidy and clean when you don't have to move things around first or dust a hundred things in the room. My main motivation for decluttering these days is how much easier it is to clean a room from top to bottom. It's almost no effort compared to before and dust doesn't really have a chance to build up on anything anymore. In most cases, once it's gone, you don't miss it. To be honest, a lot of the time when I've finished decluttering a space, I can't even remember what was in it before. I just feel lighter when I look at it. If you make a mistake decluttering, it's usually easy and inexpensive to fix it. On the rare occasion I have decluttered something thinking that I didn't need it or use it much and then found myself wanting it back again, I was able to find it for a couple of dollars at a local op shop or thrift store. We tend to think of worst case scenarios when procrastinating on decluttering, but in reality, even mistakes aren't that big of a deal when they happen. I hope you found those statements helpful too. If you're ready for next steps in decluttering and organizing, you might like to join my free neat and tidy challenge. The goal is a neat and tidy home to relax in. The method, we focus on tidying one space each month with small steps that are doable, even when life feels really busy. I'll send you an email at the start of each month with a suggested space and recommended steps to take to tidy it up and maintain it easily throughout the year. I will leave a link below for you to join us if you're interested and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <sighs>